Hi, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to do a review of Calvin's 4x4x6 cuboid. Okay, so this is actually the second version of the cuboid that I received. So let me start off by saying so this is the second one and this is the first one that I got. And the reason I ordered the second one is because this one, the turning here is very, very stiff and I was very upset with it. And uh, honestly, I was expecting much better turning because, you know, I have some other cuboids specifically cuboids by Tom Z like this 2 by 3 by 4 and also this one right here which is a 3 by 4 by 5 and uh, these two turn amazing they turn so great it just you know so I was expecting that since this is also by Tom Z and everything that is going to turn well but unfortunately the turning is very very stiff and you might say I should lube it or I should tension it and I've never been a speed cuber. I haven't tensioned any of my cubes in the six years that I've been solving puzzles. I haven't lubed any of my cubes. And for the most part, you know, I just play with them the way that they turn. And most of the puzzles, they turn all right. And even the ones that are stiff, like, you know, the sun cube, Virgo's pentagram, those kind of cubes, I expect them to be somewhat stiff. So it's okay. But the cuboid, I was expecting better turning. So this one I'm actually reselling. And I ordered this one with the hope that, that it will be better. And the reason is because the, the way they were advertised and the boxes that they came in are actually kind of different. This one came in a box where it was kind of like, all the layers were kind of like twisted like this a little bit. And I've seen pictures of it. And I think it's like maybe an older version or something like that. And at first I didn't even think this is a Tom Z version because it didn't say Tom Z anywhere until I noticed like in the middle slices, like if you turn um, in the middle, somewhere on the inside, it actually says Tom Z. So it is functional, but it doesn't turn too well. So I'm reselling this one. Now, this one is the second one that came. It does turn better, and I'm quite happy with it, though the turning is surely not as good, anywhere near as good as these two cuboids. So you have to be prepared for that. Uh, one benefit of this one to these two that I like is that this one is very stable. Like uh, with this one, I have occasionally had a few pieces pop out and they were pretty easy to put back in but still you have to be careful otherwise they pop out with this one i haven't really had any popping issues but with this one this one is very very stable so as far as turns go uh these outer layers are kind of clunky they they turn all right you know but not too good but they turn kind of more or less okay the inner ones very similar maybe a little bit better the middle slice also a little better and these long slices are, it's decent. It's definitely not a speed cube, you know, but it turns enough, well enough. With the other one, the first version that I got, uh, after doing some sol solves on them, my hands were kind of sore because you have to, like, they're so stiff, it's so hard to turn. It almost felt kind of like the original Rubik's Cube. That's how bad it was. This one turns better, but it's still not ideal, I would say, but it's good enough. And uh, this is a really fun solve. You know, I really actually like the cuboid. Even though most of my puzzles, as most people know, are stickerless. And I usually try to avoid stickered puzzles because of peeling sticker issues and stuff like that. But with this one, it's a really fun puzzle and I'm happy with it. And, uh, and yeah, one of the things that I noticed about this puzzle that I actually really like is uh, you could scramble and solve it as 33 different types of puzzles. So for example, if I turn it only like, like this by, by the middle, and then let's see, I turn it like by twos, like this. I could scramble it like a two by, uh, there's a two by two by three. Uh, and so on and so forth. Basically, I could scramble it like a one by two by three, a one by two by two, you know, a two by three by four, and a three by four by five. Pretty much a whole ton of different puzzles. And then, uh, of course, it's a four by four by six. And so the way that I solve this one is uh, first I do the centers, I reduce the centers, I place the centers, I reduce the edges like on a 4x4. Four four. I put in dummy edges on the bottom and I put in the correct ones in the middle slice to, to create the middle slice. And I put in dummy edges on top, like regardless of how they're placed, just to get it back into the cube shape with the middle slice fixed, uh, which makes it into a 4x5. Four by, four by and uh, then I reduce these duos right here. Then I build these centers. 
and then I put in these little corner like internal corners on the bottom and then I do the ones on top and then the edges on top and then I do the top and bottom layers and yeah so uh, I definitely do recommend this puzzle it's a really nice puzzle just make sure to try to get like the new version the one specifically says Tom Z and the one that's advertised with the pictures that do not show it like turned off center because like kind of like this because th that's the one the first one that I got and the turning was no good and the reason that I got that one is because it was cheaper well no wonder why it was cheaper because the turning isn't that good so so yeah as far as this one it's a really good fun puzzle and I highly recommend it and yeah so that's that's it in the meantime and uh, thank you for watching